person who admire nature, you should come here. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Uh, the number of uh, tourists increasing from time to time when we see the general, generally in the town. You have very good flight schedules, which I think is very positive for tourists because it's a very short flight. The hotels are quite good. Uh, everything is uh, readily available there, so it's fine. We came by road and it was a beautiful drive through the countryside and seeing the mountains and, uh, and the gorge. Jumma Town inherits cultural, historical, and natural beauty. Offering leisure, it possesses various attractions, such as the museum and palace of Jumma Bajifar, dense tropical forest, and forest coffee. Moving about 20 kilometers to the outskirts of the town, visitors will be astonished by the natural beauty along the road and the dense tropical forests. The diverse wildlife, green vegetation cover and fresh air create a sense of peace and tranquility which makes one wish to stay there long. Other attractions around Gemma captivating the eyes of tourists are dense tropical jungles where many rivers and streams flow and different species of wildlife inhabiting the area. They are rich with the abundant forest coffee. Among the jungles, this is the one that you see behind me. I was told that there is an amazing waterfall that can captivate your attention. So follow me and let us see this breathtaking scenery together. Why do we believe that Juma is one of the tourist attraction sites in the southwest of Ethiopia? Because the town is home to Juma Bajifa Museum and Palace, and the town's outlying districts with breathtaking natural scenery and dense forests. About 15 to 18 kilometers away from the town, you'll find amazing waterfall. This makes the town rich with natural and man-made heritage. These waterfalls are some of the tree sites found in Jimazon and are about 20 kilometers away from the town. The falls have immense natural beauty. Inside the forest, there are some endemic and rare animals that can catch visitors' eyes. The falls post a long history. Since long, they have been visited by the residents around Sekha waterfalls and locals who learn about the tourists sit here. The forest contains various plants like wild coffee, chat and other flora. It also has endemic species of birds and wildlife. The remarkable Saka waterfalls located in the dense tropical forest based of fresh air and the experience of a beautiful attraction upon any visitor. The falls evoke a feel of the Disabai waterfalls found in the state of Amara. What I saw here is incredibly amazing. If you are a kind of person who admire nature, you should come here. I'm sure you will be satisfied. It is the magnificent nature that captivates your attention. What I heard about the fall is all true. There is a standard means of transportation on the main road and other modes of transport 
can be used for the two kilometer alley. The area is comfortable to visit for a suitable pathway to reach here. Some 18 kilometers of asphalt road and around two kilometers of long alley. In the dry season, any kind of vehicle can travel on the alley. But in the rain season, there's a horse ride service organized by the local youth. The services that we are giving are transport and guiding. With the collaboration of other youths around here, we provide horse rides to tourists in the rainy season. People from both inside the country and outside are visiting this entertaining and breathtaking spot. Foreigners come and visit the place from different parts of the world. During graduation festivities, Jumma University students come here with their families and friends. Honeymooners and youth also come for refreshment and taking pictures. Such a place needs full infrastructure facility to attract more travelers. Opening hotels, lodge, and information center in the nearby is mandatory. While tourists come from every corner, they are always overwhelmed by the fall's natural beauty and its refreshing feeling. They always suggest for infrastructure development, for construction of more hotels, lodges, and promotional tools to put the place on the spotlight. Building infrastructure is a necessary condition for visitors' number to grow, and therefore we are working in collaboration with the Town's Culture and Tourism Bureau and the State of Oromia Culture and Tourism Office by distributing the flyers and brochures to promote the place and encouraging investors to engage in hotel and lodge construction. Infrastructure development is one of the efforts the town administration is doing by providing inducement for investors who are interested to engage in the sector. Visible changes are being registered as a result. As a town administration, we are exerting a lot of efforts in construction of roads, hotels, lodges and other recreational spots. In this regard, we provide incentives for investors in order to encourage their participation in industry sector as well as infrastructure development. This has resulted in better results. Organizations or businesses engaged in tourism need to create strong promotional campaigns as it is one of the important income generating mechanisms in the world. This being the target, the town continues promoting the natural and man-made resites through different mechanisms. Promotion is very important thing for the um, tourism. Uh, we have been pro uh, promoting uh, these uh, two sites by uh, bulletin. Uh, the town administration has an uh, annual uh, bulletin which is uh, published annually. Again, our office uh, published different brochures and uh, posters and the like. But this is not enough. So uh, in this year, in Ethiopian uh, New Year, we have planned to uh, develop or to create websites. Uh, the preparation has already been uh, completed. The 
migrant commercial city through which most of the coffee brands of the region pass through is also the southwest major tree site with Sakawata Falls being one. This tourism potential made the town receive greater federal and regional attention, which resulted for progressing infrastructure development. Chimma is the center uh, for the southern part of the uh, uh, region, or I mean uh, the country. At the same time, it has a lot of uh, historical places and historical sites. So that uh, historically, again, the center of trade for the southern part of Ethiopia. Nowadays, the town is showing remarkable progress in infrastructure development. The town has better accommodation facilities like hotels. It comprises six international hotels and other up to standard ones. Talking about transport facilities, there is a network of fine roads of 67 kilometers and a new airport that meets international standards, which is currently operational. good flight schedules which I think is very positive for tourists because it's a very short flight it's not terribly expensive for fringes and we came by road actually and it was a beautiful drive I came by road it was quite good like say it gives me some sort of a remembrance of my old uh, like say my country where I used to have greeneries but now in my country we are coming down in the greenery aspect the roads I appreciate very much that they've been uh paved and redone, resurfaced, it's very nice. We came by road and it was a beautiful drive through the countryside and seeing the mountains and, uh, and the gorge. It was really quite inspiring and very, very beautiful, the countryside. was terrific. The hotel is very, very nice and we're really enjoying our visit here. The hotels are quite good. Uh, everything is uh, readily available there. The roads are, if I compare to Benin, the roads are, are quite good, I would say. Obviously there is always some room for improvement. The number of uh, tourists increasing from time to time when we see the general, generally in the town. Uh, as far as the visitors of the palace in the, um, the museum is concerned, uh, we do have uh, data uh, from 90, uh, 20, 20, uh, 10 up to 2014. Uh, The natural destinations like Saka Waterfalls and a man-made spot in Gemma make the city one of the best places any tourists would want to see when scheduled to visit Ethiopia. Uh, Gemma is a uh, city where everyone can uh, enjoy, uh, so everyone has to uh, visit it. Gemma, located 335 kilometers to the southwest of Addis Ababa, provides a whole lot of refreshment and enjoyment to its guests. The growing infrastructure development in the town surely is an indicator that the town's administration cares about the well-being of its guests, which would attract the influx of tourists to the place.